Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of The Aliens Queen Face Hugger from NECA Toys. Rolling right along with the wave of Aliens figures that are inspired by the incredible Kenner line, today we're taking a look at the giant Queen Face Hugger. As you can see, that giant face hugger comes in the standard clamshell packaging that does a wonderful job of paying homage to that retro Kenner packaging. Fully showcases our giant face hugger within and even has some awesome artwork on the lower portion there. The backside looks just like the retro cross cell art featuring some of NECA's other Predator and Aliens action figures that have already been released. So let's go ahead and take a look at that queen face hugger outside of the packaging. So this one is a pretty unique figure. Um, if you had the vintage one, it was basically just a giant size version of your standard face hugger. So NECA just recreated that there by giving us a larger version. Now we've gotten plenty of face huggers in NECA's line before, but this one is a larger scale. So if I go ahead and bring in a tape measure here, let's see. From the front all the way to the back of the tail there. If I kind of straighten the tail out, let's see what we got here. Oh, you're looking at about nine inches in length altogether. So it is a lot bigger. But the reason this is a bit different than your standard NECA figures is um, it's kind of got a lack of articulation and such. This is almost just a solid figure with not a lot going on. Now, it does have a beautiful sculpt, but it's not quite as articulated or gimmicky, at least, as that vintage action figure was. Now, we do have some articulation in all of the little legs here, so that's pretty cool. All of these little legs are ball jointed, so you can see I can rotate those all the way around, and I can move them up and down slightly, so we can get them all standing down. You got the little pinchers in the front that are bent, so I can kind of swivel those if I want to. So you can kind of move all the legs of where they're in like a standing pose, make it almost like he's a big, giant, nasty spider crawling around, or you know, you can straighten all the legs out if you want to. Otherwise, the only point of articulation we have is in the little tail here, which which is that bending material that we've seen in a lot of NECA's figures. So you can just kind of bend that all the way around. Now, I will say it's still a beautiful sculpt. I mean, look at this thing. It is horrifying. I've always thought the face huggers were very, very creepy looking. I love kind of like the webbing material in between all the legs and how it's done in like a translucent plastic. So you can really kind of see through it. Gives it that webbing look. And then the body there has just got this wonderful sculpt with a beautiful paint job. That's this really dark red with a lot of blacks mixed in there that helps to bring out all that sculpt. Kind of fades to a brighter red on the tail there. And then the underside looks as creepy as ever so that is pretty cool now so that it's not just this in the package by itself we do also get a smaller version of the same style face hugger now this one here is not articulated with the exception of the tail which is a smaller bendy like material so you can bend that around all the legs don't move on this one but you can see the sculpt is still very, very good. It's got the same color scheme, same translucent webbing on there, and it just makes for another cool little alien to add to your shelf. So as another packet bonus, just like we've seen with the other Kenner aliens, we do get a reprint of the giant face hugger terror dome mini comic from Dark Horse. This is number 11. These came with the vintage Kenner figures. And again, I just love seeing these reprinted there and included with these figures. So pretty cool little accessory. Now, unfortunately, I don't own the vintage Kenner uh, face hugger. Otherwise, I'd be able to compare these to show them side by side. I really wish I had it. I apologize that I don't. But I will say that I still really, really like this. It's a little non-traditional next to the rest of your figures. Obviously, the articulation is quite a bit different. It's not quite as big and bulky. But it still makes for a great addition to the shelf. He's beautifully sculpted. Wonderful uh, new creature to add to your alien shelf. And again, looks awesome when you have it attacking your Kenner-inspired Ripley. Or standing with the Mantis and Gorilla Alien. And I just really hope we see Naka continue this trend i would love to see some of those awesome really cool kenner inspired aliens brought to life in this updated fully sculpted scale very cool stuff so very special thanks to the folks at NECA Toys for sending this guy along so we can get a good look at it outside of the packaging. This new wave of alien figures is hitting store shelves right now, so happy hunting, my friends! If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment down below and subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time, my friends.